Animation Blueprint is an amazing and really simple tool of Unreal Engine that we use to connect a character or any other skeleton mesh to its animations. All we need is a few animations and a character. We will use Unreal Engine's Mana Queen and its animations for this video. We need to go to the skeleton mesh, right click on it and press Create New Animation Blueprint. Right here we need to create a new state machine. Let's call it Locomotion. And its job is to store our animations within it. So let's plug it in, press compile, create state, and we need one, two, three for now. Let's call it walk, let's call it jump, call it mid air. I will explain in a second. And we need another one for the land. So, what states does our character have? We need a walk and idle uh, state, I will explain more in a bit. We need a jump state, so we need jumps, middle, so after the character jumps it won't look weird. And we need a land animation when the character lands. In order to link between the animations and uh, the states, all we need to do is double click the state. Right here, what we need, we need jump and plug it together, press compile, that's it. Let's go back, let's add one to the middle as well, fall probably, yep, fall loop, compile, go back, land, by the way you can, here you can just like see the animation. And now for the idle walk animation, it's a bit more complicated, but just a bit. So what we need to do, go to the scatter mesh again, right click, go to create, blend space 1D. And let's call it a blend space walk idle. So right here we have a graph. Let's start with, with putting the idle animation in zero. And right here you can name the X of the graph, right here. And you can set the maximum. So let's set the maximum to the maximum of the movement speed of the character, which is 500 in our case. Let's grab the uh, run animation. Put it on the 500 and let's grab the walk animation and put it in the 200. You can press it here and 200. So if I press control on the keyboard and move the mouse, I can see what's happening if the speed value changes. So if the speed is 20, it will look like this. If our speed is 200, it will look like this. And if our speed is max, like 500, then he will sprint, which is pretty cool. So let's save, go back here, and right here, all we need to do is get our blend space. This is what we did. And right here, you see our horizontal axis. So how do we tell this? What is the speed of our character? It's pretty simple. Let's go to event graph. We need to cast to our character and we need to get its speed. So we get its character movement. And in order to get its speed, we need its velocity. And velocity is a vector. So we need its vector length. And we can promote this into speed. So right here, nice. Now let's back to the locomotion, to the idle walk, and right here all we need to do is press control, drag it, plug it, and we're done with this. Now we need to tell the system how to move between this state and this state. So we double click on this thing, and we need to tell it 
that our character is falling. So how do we do it? We go to the event graph, character movement is falling, whoops, promote to variable, connect, rename it to is falling, compile, and now we can go to here, control, and that's it. Now let's go back and ask ourselves when do we want to move between state of jump and state of midair. So I want to do it right after the jump animation ends. So how do we do it? We click over here, press automatic roll, and that's it. Once the jump animation will be over, it will go to the midair animation. Now, when do we want to move between midair and land? We want it when we're not falling anymore. So double click, control to get this, is not, oops, not boolean, just connect it here, go back to the locomotion, and last one is between land and walk. Same thing as jump in midair, we want once to move once the animation is done. So click on this, compile, and that's it. Let's go to the third person character, mesh, and switch to our Quinn project. So first thing, we know it's working because we see the idle animation. But let's be sure, let's go to the map, press play, and we have an idle animation. Let's try to move, nice. We can do something really quick to check if uh, our walk animation works. So let's just and get the control key and get character movement set max speed while we press it let's make it a uh, 200 and when we release this let's go back to our original speed so it was a uh, 500 i believe And that's it. Let's try to see if it works. So I'm sprinting, pressing control, and we walk. Releasing control. Nice. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know how to switch between third person camera, first person camera, and top down camera mid game, click over here. If you liked the video, please like the video, it helps the channel and me massively. Subscribe if you want to see any of my future videos. And thank you guys, have a beautiful day.